On the video today, we're going to show you how to take advantage of pegs by Great Lakes Steelhead Company to hold your bead in place. This will eliminate having knots in your leader, the bead will be able to slide without chafing your leader, and if you pay close attention, we're going to show you a little secret that the bead company doesn't want you to know about. Stay tuned. So in this video today, guys, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to use a trickum peg to peg your beads so you have no knots in your leader other than the knot you have tied to your hook. Less knots mean less breakage, stronger line strength, so there's no uh, any point that weakens your line. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to tie on our hook. Right here we're using Nova Tackle size 8 SSH salmon and steelhead hook. We like this hook for our beads. It's a nice open, kind of straight shanked, wider gapped hook so the bead doesn't hide in behind it. We're going to tie up a size 8 bead to show you for an example. So in doing so, we're going to use a size 8 hook. Always wet that knot down when you're tying with mono or fluorocarbon. So we have our knot tied, we have our hook tied on, all right, so I'm just going to cut this short, I'm not going to make it, I usually go from the tips of my fingers to about my uh, armpit for myself, that's the leader I like to run, you know, standard, um, good length just to have out there, you know, depending on what how I'm fishing, it might go shorter, longer, depending on the body of water and how deep we're fishing, I guess. So, I'm going to slide on our bead, so right here, for example, we have a trichum. Uh, Sam River Slayer. We're going to take that peg. We're going to go right in that bead. Okay, you're going to pull that. See how that starts to go opaque? You know, you're tight. Now the key is does this move? If I pull, he's not moving. So once I got it to where I like it's not moving, it's it got the nice tight. We're going to snip that right down. That's where I love these line cutter new clippers they came out with. So I can get right in there tight, clip off those that end of that peg so as you can see we now have our hook I usually try to go about two fingers width from my hook to my bead and you'll see how close that is there's not much peg there sticking out so now we have our bead is pegged tie it onto our swivel and we're ready to fish that um, there's only one thing missing didn't think to have it ready but I always have it near shrimp fire gel. A little bit of that fire gel on that egg or that bead makes a world of difference. So now that we have our bead tied you can see it's very snug or cut close. That peg's not really sticking out. The trick I'm going to show you is now that you have your two pegs those are pieces we cut off. See most people think this is a one-use thing but this is a little trick I learned side you one side you cut off as you can see slides right through there's no tension so you save if you pull it just snug and don't bury it all the way on that peg when you cut the first one off when you use it you can get a second bead out of a peg so right there see I got that the thicker one do the same thing we did the first time pull 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 now that's tight and there's still a little bit snug on, you know, a little left. So that's where you have a little bit of leeway to play with it. When you get that first one, don't feel like it's a real tight thing to do. We got these little pieces. And as you can see, that's I cut it nice and close. You can see how that pegs on the inside there. Now, for a bead like this, another trick is use a colored peg. You can put an orange, red peg in there, and that'll change the look of that bead. Have it look like it has an eye in it. Another great thing to do when fish are a little picky, change things up. You don't have to get a whole new bead, whole new setup. You can almost change the peg, change the color of your bead a little bit, and it'll get you catching more fish. Hope these uh, tick tips and tricks work for you guys, and I hope uh, see you on the water.